Hey guys, so back with another video, more talking about the 18650 battery spot welding stuff. I bought a 5000 watt portable spot welder off of Amazon. This one is very similar to the other ones that you see that are just the PCB themselves without any casing, except this one seemed to be the only one advertised to spot weld the thicker 0.2 or 0.25 millimeter nickel strips and that's kind of the case because this wire here is probably 6 gauge and not like the thin 10 gauge that all the other ones come in so theoretically this wire should be able to carry all every bit of the current that this board can supply so obviously I took it off first just to give you a quick overview on this thing. It comes with a foot pedal switch. The cord is plenty long so you can drape this on the ground while you have this on the table. You have the six MOSFETs on this thing. And some thick, I don't know what these are, copper, brass, bus bars. So, uh, to be able to handle everything. Um, here's a closer look at the board itself. I don't really know what goes on into these because I'm not, not an electronics guru. On the front of this thing, you have this display which gives you the voltage display of the inboard battery, onboard battery. This is your charge plug. This is just your, um, your LED that tells you it's either charging or it's on. And then you got this guy right here, which is to adjust the power. Um, I believe this, I think the current's constant, it just does a timer, so however many milliseconds or microseconds uh, of spot welding to get more of a spot weld. Anyways, um, my main worry for this was the onboard lithium, let me, or the, the onboard lipo battery. So let me put you guys down. So, hopefully you guys don't tip over, and I'll show you the construction of this thing. It's not super high class, but it's something so you guys can have an understanding. So, you have, the board is powered by these two leads, um, just to get everything, the board powered. These are two LiPo batteries, so it's 8.4 fully volts fully charged. And this is the soldering, so it's not super high tech or super nice soldering, but I mean, I don't think anything is going to break. You also have the leads kind of just soldered on. Lots of solder gooped on pretty well, so I don't think anything is going to fall apart. But there you have it. I did a quick search on the actual LiPo cells on there, and this is what I came up with. LPHD 607 260, 2100 milliamps, 30 coulombs discharge rate. The dimensions match up 60 wide, 72 high, and that's why I kind of assumed that this is the correct uh, lithium battery. Just in case you want to, these cells fail and you want to replace it, or um, if you're just curious what it is. I think what I would really do is. Once these cells fail and this thing is still working, I'd want to clean up everything and just kind of solder on some wire leads and then use like an RC car battery with even a, maybe of a, a higher quality because you can see this case is big enough that it's going to be able to hold everything. So let's uh, reassemble it and then I'll just show you how this thing works. So there you have it, right out of the box. It's charged at 7.7 .7 volts. I'm probably gonna charge this to max voltage before I start using it. And um, that's about it. And to sum everything up, this is the whole setup. The light turns red on the charger when we're charging it. There are no lights on the unit itself when it's charging. I have this pack of fine sandpaper and about a meter of 0.15 nickel strip. I don't know if it's pure nickel or nickel plated. 
but it should be plenty to practice with. And then the leads themselves, these probes are 1.5-ish millimeters, and I think it can take up to a 2 millimeter copper rod. So if you need to buy replacements, I'm sure you could probably find it online or somewhere. And that is the whole thing. Um, for about 70 bucks if you buy it from China, 80 bucks if you buy it off Amazon in the US, it seems like a good buy. So uh, stay tuned for more spot welding videos.